the Holy Quran tells us, Assalamu alaikum. There can be no coexistence with this violence. There can be no tolerating it, no accepting it, no excusing it, and no ignoring it. I also know civilization's debt to Islam, colonialism that denied rights and opportunities to many Muslims. We will be sure to help our Saudi friends to get a good deal from our great American defense companies, the greatest anywhere in the world. Muslim majority countries were too often treated as proxies. This is a battle between barbaric criminals who seek to obliterate human life and decent people. In the middle of the Cold War, the United States played a role in the overthrow of a democratically elected Iranian government. For decades, Iran has fueled the fires of sectarian conflict and terror. It is a government that speaks openly of mass murder, vowing the destruction of Israel, death to America, and ruin for many leaders and nations in this very room. I consider it part of my responsibility as President of the United States to fight against negative stereotypes of Islam wherever they appear. Barbarism will deliver you no glory. Piety to evil will bring you no dignity. If you choose the path of terror, your life will be empty your life will be brief, and your soul will be fully condemned. That America is not and never will be at war with Islam. Drive them out of your places of worship. Drive them out of your communities. Drive them out of your holy land and drive them out of this earth. Any world order that elevates one nation or a group of people over another will inevitably fail. Invest almost $400 billion in our two countries and create many hundreds of thousands of jobs in America and Saudi Arabia. Thank you, and may God's peace be upon you. Thank you, God bless you, God bless your countries, and God bless the United States of America.